after tax cash flow analysis uh, a drilling asset is purchased for petroleum production and it is going to produce 15000 per year over its life for 14 years and assume that it has a cost basis of $80,000 and we're going to use the minimum attractive rate of return 15%. Income tax 30%. We'll only discuss the corporate income tax and the total tax, the federal and state combined 30%. Currently, the federal rate is 21% and state rate varies. Uh, however, in this example, the total is 30%. And under this condition, you're going to calculate the depreciation, taxable income, tax, after-tax cash flow, uh, after-tax present work, capital recovery, and IRR, and also going to make a decision on this project whether to invest or not. So I have copied all the information here from that PowerPoint. Um, this is a drilling asset. Um, so let me go back to this is the IRS documents. You can download from the IRS website or you can... There is a link in the openeducator.com. Um, you can also find this document there. So first step of calculating the depreciation um, is to find the uh, appropriate asset class. So this is 13.2 drilling equipment for petroleum production. It has a ZDS life of seven years and then ADS life of 14 years, but we are going to use the seven years only uh, for petroleum production drilling equipment. Once we know the a recovery uh, period then we go to the table to get the rate so we can go all the way up um, here is the table if it doesn't say anything use half year convention which is typical for most textbook also if you're taking this um, for any standardized testing like professional licensing exam or usually use half year convention but if it's a different convention you can media convention you can use that appropriate table in this case seven years recovery life use half year convention if it doesn't say anything so that's how you get these numbers and then we have already copied that here um, so that's the percentage each year we're going to deduct uh, the machine is going to depreciate so depreciation uh, first year is nothing second year Simply, well, we can type 0% here, doesn't really matter. So this cost basis and that percent as times, the percent going to be depreciated for that particular year and then copy down. So that's the total depreciation for each year. And then before, first we're going to create the before tax cash flow. That will be $80,000 investment, which is a negative cash flow. I'm going to use minus for that. And each year, it's going to produce $15,000. So I'll freeze that. Copy down all the way. And then there is no market value at the end. So nothing happens there. That's fine. Now we're going to calculate the taxable income. Uh, taxable income. That will be basically nothing here. Nothing happens in year one. And then in this year, it's going to be the uh, cash flow, uh, before tax cash flow minus the depreciation. So we'll have this much cash flow going on. Uh, taxable income. So then we can go, we're going to calculate the tax, which is um, the tax rate this taxable income times the tax rate and then we're going to freeze that copy down so that is our taxable income uh, i want to see like this so it looks like a dollar all right so then um, taxable income then we can calculate the after tax cash flow which would be equal to the before tax cash flow minus the tax copy down so that is the after tax cash flow now we are going to find the present value present worth or present value for each of these cash flow so that we can calculate the total we have used this formula before called pv to calculate the present value rate is 15 percent i'm going to freeze that Number of period will treat each of these cash flow is a future cash flow. So it's going to be compounded this many years. 
and then there is no payment here we'll treat each of these as a future cash flow now i would like to use a negative sign to keep the same sign or my desired sign like this let me see looks like everything copied correctly so now we can calculate the total present what which would be basically sum of <coughs> this column uh, which is negative which means doesn't make much sense to invest on this project let's calculate the IRR so we can simply do IRR function to do the calculation remember for IRR you have to use these not the present value column it was one of the common mistake in the last exam oops something happened there uh, let me go to percentage format it maybe like this or so so maximum you can justify for this project is under 13 and half percent but you are looking for 15 percent irr um, so it doesn't make much sense in this case um, but so this project is basically a no-go situation so you're not going to invest on this as the present word is negative so all the cash flow will be negative uh, whether capital recovery let me show you how to calculate the capital recovery which is basically the payment so we can use this payment function um, as we have done before so payment so rate is 15 percent um, we're going to convert it for 14 years the present value i'm going to use a negative sign to keep the same sign there is no future value end of period compounding as you can see, $800 per month will be losing at a rate of 15%. So it doesn't make sense. Future what? You can calculate that too. So simply use that function FV. We have done this many times already. 15% mark for 14 years. Uh, there is no payment. We're going to just convert one single present value to the future. So it's going to be negative again. Um, so this is basically the max you can have uh, for this project the 13.15 percent if if it has to be so you can change that to this you will see everything becomes zero meaning that you're not making or losing anything just a cutoff point is that irr but at a 15 percent rate no you're not going to invest on this project however if you calculate the before tax irr before tax irr you will see it's more than 15 percent so you can simply use that irr function and then before tax column uh, see. it's about over 16 percent so it makes sense if you don't consider the income taxes but if you consider the income tax you'll be losing money at your desired rate 